I think it's funny how that goes on. Oh, I just realized I was recording. Yeah, I know nobody ever watches my blog, but I don't care. I'm still going to do it. And I'm sitting here watching American, American Country Music Awards, and I think it's hilarious how so many people out there, like, you know, going to be sitting in the con, you know, in the crowd, like, yeah. I know I'm up for an award, whatever, who gives a crap, and then when they're like, hey, I'm gonna think you're ready, and then like start crying and crap, yeah, it's, it's stupid, you know, most of them probably know what they're gonna win before they win it, but yet it's like the biggest thing in the world when they win, you know what I mean, yeah, it's like retarded, anyways, like I said, I know everyone, I know no one watches this, don't watch that much of crap, I was watching a thing about the intelligence system tonight, god man, that sounds like so much crap right there, dude, and I agree with uh, somebody said on here on YouTube. They said it sounds like bullshit, and I agree with them. It is bullshit because, dude, most of the time when you find something like that, it promises you money. Making like that on the internet is going to be crap because he was promising that you can make. I think he said it started off at like uh, in the first month you'll make like a thousand dollars within seven days, something like that. And then no, yeah, and in the first month you'll be making one hundred fifteen thousand a month. Yeah, really, come on. Uh, you never know, I mean, there might be some small success stories, but he's the type of guy that, while he was giving you the details on it, it's like he kept talking in circles. He was, you know, talking about the same thing over and over and over, just changing up his wording a little bit every time. So that way, you know, I guess it's more believable that way, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, um, to me, the intelligence system is just something that ain't worth your time, dude. I mean... He started off saying the entire package of his was, I think it's like 5400 and something dollars, and he's giving it away for 47 bucks for a limited time. And he charges $1,000 each time to come watch his session. Seriously? When you start talking about that kind of crap, it's just stupid. But yeah, um, yeah, a lot of weird crap's been going on in my life this week, but I don't care. It's just whatever. You know, uh, here pretty soon I'll be going over the road with my brother. My brother, well, not really my blood. Well, he's he's like a brother. He's not really related, but you know, he's like a brother to me. We <laughs> when we first met each other, we hated each other. And then we started hanging out one day, and we met up because of skateboarding. That's what brought us together. And we realized we were like the same style of music, and we just started talking about music, and we went from there. He got a job driving a truck, and I got to go out with him. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah. All these people out there, I guess there's so many bloggers on YouTube, that's why, you know, most of us don't get noticed, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. I don't care. I'll get noticed one day. Until then, yeah, I'm here, doing my thing. Yeah, I guess some people think my videos are different or weird, but who gives a shit, you know? But yeah, I mean, the whole thing about the intelligence system, and then you got this other thing out there called Fiverr, where, where that works like is, people pay you five bucks to do something for them. You know, it's like, really? But, you know, I guess it could work. Some of these ideas that they come out with, you're like, um... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Some of them have been successful, but some of them, on the other hand, have not. You know, you gotta do your research and see what's real, what's not, and all that, you know. Because you never know when you're gonna get caught up in something, because you don't want to get caught up in something and realize you're fucked. Yeah, um... I'm sitting here in a... Yeah, my brain just went... Wee! It left my train of thought. Yeah, I know, it's just random me talking like this. Yeah, I've been talking about, you know, watching all these bloggers. I got one I've been following on here. Ike, what's up? Give your holler out, Ike. Uh, keep on trucking, dude. Yeah, um... I've been following him because he's, he's pretty insightful when it comes to trucking. And he's not too far from me, actually. He lives in the same state. And he's not too far down the road from where I'm at. But yeah, um... I want to become a trucker, but I can't because I have a, what's called temporal lobe epilepsy. What that is, is a condition that causes seizures in, seizures in the brain that attack your memory and your uh, motor skills and your emotions. And that's why it will cause bipolar, but what I have is bipolar type 2. And that's caused not just by that, but it's also caused by the electrical misfires going on up here I was born with. I think that maybe would cause a seizure, but then again, it could be the drugs I used to do. I ain't got no teeth because of drugs, too. So, you know, don't do drugs, you'll end up, you know, like that if you do drugs. You know, don't do drugs, you end up like that. 
and um, I got some other health issues because of that, but, you know, I make it, and I'll be at it. I didn't think I'd make it 25, and here I am, you know, 25, and still kicking. Um, yeah, um, yeah, my brain, again, in my way. Miss my music a bit. I'm not gonna jump me out because I like talking and I don't want this music jumping me out either. I'm trying to find the right, you know, with music the way it is with me, I gotta find the right tone, the right song to go with me, and it will help me think better. That's how my brain functions the best when I'm talking on blog. That's why you have, whether y'all can hear it or not, I always had music playing in the background when I'm doing these videos every single time. There's music playing somewhere, whether y'all hear it or not. And, um, yeah, that's what helps my brain go better because, I don't know, it's just the way it, it's dealing with the, all this going on up there. If y'all know more, comment on my channel, and I'll tell y'all more about my medical condition. I mean, when I was a kid, I had a medical problem. I never had a name for it. I just know that it usually takes the human body, like, 30 minutes to an hour or something like that to drain the food off your stomach. And mine was taking up to 34 hours, so by the time I drained, I had no nutrition or value left in my food. I mean, I still have to take vitamins for it, and as you can tell, I'm still, you know, super skinny from it. But yeah, um, it's, it's, it's not easy. I mean, I still have random stuff that happens to me because of it. it's cleared up for the most part, but I still have some issues from it. And, uh, yeah. I know y'all, it's weird, but I like to, I like y'all to see me in the natural way. I don't like to try, you know. A lot of these people out here that blog, they try to do it as professional as possible. Me, I say me. You know, I keep it real to who I am and what I do. You know. And I feel kind of weird sometimes doing it because I feel like I'm sitting in the room by myself talking to myself. Yeah, and I'm talking to y'all out there on YouTube, whoever the hell may see, I don't know. But anyways, um, any of y'all out there that subscribe to me, thank you for subscribing. I'm not sure who all y'all are, would name y'all off and everything. Like I said, I keep on choking, brother. Um... Uh, Keep it safe out there where you travel, man. Dave, you know, keep it safe out there trucking, man. You know, they're doing their job, and of course, I got to support, you know, my favorite van out there, right there, man. Even Hunter, you know, keep it going, man. I'm not sure if I get in trouble naming stuff off like this, but it's me, who I am. You know, like I said before in several videos, they call it a thing called a freedom of speech. I don't think we have that anymore. Freedom of speech has been going out the window for years, and we got this retard in office we have now. Obama, Ray Tarver, if you want to call him, I don't like him. I was mad when he got in. He has done some good things. I can't remember what they are. <laughs> I mean, I think he's done some good things. I don't know, for the most part, everything he's done is just screwed us over more than anything. What the crap? I'm sorry, I just realized they have a rapper on the American Music Awards. Anyways, yeah, but see, that's the thing. Even today, country music is no longer country music. I mean,. Yeah, you have some of like Jason Aldean is still well, no, not Jason Aldean. Excuse me, uh, Josh Turn, Randy Travis. They're still keeping country what it used to be. Then you got Taylor Swift, Marin Lambert, and all them that's coming out. That's turning it from country to pop, you know, pop country. It's not country no more. It's it's not. Any, but that's just how it is today, I guess. Like rock, though, it's it's still rock, but there's a lot out there that's more pop than anything. But I guess that's what's new now is pop. As a kid, yeah, techno. Today's dubstep. And, yeah. I don't know. I guess it's just how music goes. I mean, if you notice, things repeat themselves over and over. Like when I was a kid, the Furby was, like, very popular. And then, the, the, uh, Furby went away and disappeared for a while. And now, it's back. But it's more technologically advanced. You know what I mean? Like, I remember now, it was cool because back in the day we had them little braces, you know, they strap on it. I, I used to have one around here. If I could find it, I would do it one day, but I can't find it right now. I just, my room's on, yeah, it's here. It's here, there, and everywhere. Anyways, um, yeah, it's, you know, slap braces are cool when I was a kid, and then my cousin came home from school one day. She's 12 years old at the time. Came and said, hey man, look at this cool, it's like new thing. Like, that ain't new. Like, I'm sorry to bust the bubble, but that's not new. That was out when I was a kid. 
And, uh, yeah, you notice I move a lot. Just something else, I guess, is my, my ADHD. I don't know. I tend to move a lot and look around a lot when I'm talking. Like, if I'm having a conversation with somebody, I could stare down straight in the face. When I'm doing this, I look around at things, mess with traps, and play with things, and, yeah. It's like I turn on this to watch it, and it just got boring. Nah, I don't even want to watch it no more. But there's not really much else on right now, so I guess I could turn on a movie. I don't know. Uh, by the way, like I said, uh, I have that book called Life Views. It's on Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, Books a Million, and some other websites out there selling in the UK and uh, Germany and New Zealand. And I think it's on some uh, Australian websites. And I know it's in Tokyo, too. And I'm working on getting it in stores. Um, my first one I'm trying is Books a Million. I have it in a few local libraries around here, but I'm not sure how to do it anywhere else because I would like to try and get more, but, you know, I'm not sure what to do there. I'll figure it out one day. I am slow, I do have a learning disability, but I don't care. And, uh, y'all can judge me for what you want. I don't care. Anyways, um, I want to get it in Walmart, but that's not going to be easy because Walmart is hard on anything, apparently. It's like they want you to send this thing in and do the old dip of it. I guess I could send the video I have on here and see what they do. Uh, right now on, uh, Amazon and uh, Barnes and Noble. No, yes, yeah, Amazon and Books a Million. Both. It's uh, twenty bucks for my book. Then it's uh, like eighteen dollars right now. They have it for I think it is on. Um, yeah, it's eighteen dollars on a uh, book. Uh, Barnes and Noble. That's the cheapest website right now that I know of. Unless you buy it directly through me, then you get a discount too. But you know, <clears throat> I haven't had anybody do that yet. But. Uh, if you want to uh, comment on this video here, or any of my videos that y'all might want a copy of it, and, you know, let me know how to contact you so I can, you know, figure out how to get the book to you, and I'll autograph it and everything for you. It does, you know, it's not really a professional done book, because I did it through a self-publishing company, and I thought they were going to check it, but they didn't, so it does have some mess ups in it. There's no punctuation, there are some misspellings. Because, um, they wrote it out exactly how I had it on my, uh, computer, apparently. So, the font is, like, perfectly good, spaced out, and everything else in the beginning. And then, as you go through, it gets from, like, you know, where there's, like, that much of a space between each line to where they're like that. You know, there's, like, not much of a space at all. There are some misspellings, and some of the words go from bigger to smaller because it's how my font was on the computer. And then, the next book, I will send it in get it professionally edited and all that. This is my first attempt, so, you know, excuse all that. But yeah, um, yeah, I guess I'll just let y'all go for now, and, um, you know, keep on going, y'all. Keep on trucking out there, and y'all have fun. I'll keep y'all on the flip. I got another two weeks, I think it is, a week, maybe two weeks before I head out, and I'll be gone from now till August, I think he said, and when he'll bring me back. And I will try and use this computer while I'm on the road, update, you know, some videos on the road. And, uh, yeah. Um, y'all want me to, like, talk about certain things, let me know, and I'll, you know, I'll blog about them. But right now, I just, I just do whatever, man. I just see right now. I just keep on rolling. Peace out, y'all.